Oh my god, I love that my empties have like a purpley pink theme to them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing my very first empties video. This is something that's been a little bit challenging for me to do because I am kind of a neat freak. And the thought of just kind of like squirreling away some trash for a while just kind of feels like eh to me. But I was able to just empty out one of my drawers in my dresser and most of these products, it's not like, it's not like actual trash. Like they're like empty bottles and stuff so I was able to actually hold on to enough stuff to do a video on. This is all mostly skincare, a couple of makeup products but not too much. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into my empties and my thoughts on them. Okay, so I'll start with the skincare and then make my way over to the makeup products. The first thing that I have are one, two, three, four, five empty packets of makeup remover wipes. Now I have a couple of different brands in here because I was trying out a few different ones to see which ones I liked the best. So let's start with the ones that I really didn't like and make my way up to the best. So the first one I have here are the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Wipes. I got this in a set for Christmas actually with a bunch of Clinique makeup products and it came with the eye makeup remover, the liquid, and then these wipes. I actually had no idea they made wipes, so I was really excited to see this because I love their eye makeup remover. I think it's one of the best liquid eye removers. Eye removers. <laughs> I think they have one of the best liquid eye makeup removers on the market and I love purchasing it when I can. So I was excited to try out these wipes, but honestly, oh these weren't good. These were not good at all. They were really dry. They didn't have a lot of product on them. So I ended up having to put, like, take a wipe out and put extra eye makeup remover on it just to take off my makeup. And they also felt rough on the skin. So I didn't really like these. I wouldn't really recommend them, but I would recommend their actual liquid eye makeup remover. The next one I have here are the Cetaphil Gentle Makeup Removing Wipes. Now, I did love this face um, wash that they have, the like the gentle um, moisturizing face wash. And I saw these wipes at CVS and I saw that they were on sale and I thought well if they have such a great face wash you know I have to try their makeup removing wipes. I'm sure they're great too. Not the case. These didn't have a lot of uh, product in them as well. They felt dry coming out of the packaging which is never really a good sign for a makeup wipe. They didn't really, I had to scrub to get anything off my face which I don't enjoy doing and it didn't really work that well. I had to go in with another makeup remover wipe like after using this one. So I didn't really enjoy this one. I wouldn't recommend it. All right, next I have the Creme Shop 30 Pre-Wet Towelettes with Witch Hazel. Now these worked just fine. I got this at um, like TJ Maxx in like their skincare aisle. It's a couple of bucks, but honestly like getting a couple of these, they worked better than the first they worked better than the first two that I mentioned, and they do come fairly uh, soaked. Um, the makeup removing aspect isn't as great, but it does get the job done, and there is enough product to last for your whole face. So I did enjoy these. If I'm ever in a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls and I don't have any makeup wipes, I'd probably pick these up again. Now, getting into my favorites, the next one I have are the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. I love these. I can buy them in like a big set from Costco and I think that's the best value you'll get because you can get like four or five of these in a huge set at Costco and they're like $20. CVS has these by themselves for like seven or eight dollars, sometimes ten dollars if they're not on sale. So I would recommend if you have a Costco membership, go to Costco, check these out. They're amazing and they come pre-soaked. There's plenty of product. I end up with a little bit of product left in the packaging afterwards that I'll kind of scoop out of the last wipe that I had in there. And these do take everything off. You don't have to scrub. You just do one wipe and it's gone. So now my absolute favorite makeup removing wipes that I've been using are also Neutrogena. They are the makeup removing cleansing towelettes, but it's the night calming version. It comes in the little purple package and these are the best that I've ever tried and as you can see I've tried quite a lot of makeup wipes. They do smell, they do have a fragrance to them so if you do have like sensitive skin I'm not sure if these will irritate your skin. I don't really have sensitive skin um, but I do find myself um, reacting to strong fragrances in makeup but with this one my skin was just fine. They do come really soaked with product and 
it just takes off everything without me having to tug just like the other Neutrogena ones so I really this is the number one like makeup wipe that I would recommend I didn't find these at Costco like the other ones but I do see these in like two packs at CVS and if you use a coupon on top of that maybe some extra bucks you can get these fairly affordable so let's go on to a makeup remover that I actually just ran out of. It is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. I got this in a set for Christmas. I got a whole box of Clinique products from my grandmother. Thank you. And this is one of my favorite like makeup remover formulas ever. It's this one and the Neutrogena one that I would really recommend. This one's more high end. It does cost a lot, so I don't buy this that often. But the Neutrogena one works just like this. These, Those two are my favorite for getting off eye makeup because I do wear a lot of eye makeup. It's my favorite part. It also works well for lip makeup. So I would use that to take off liquid lips and it does take everything off. So I would recommend this if it is within your budget. If not, go for the Neutrogena one. It works just as well. From there, let's go to face wash. I just recently finished up my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser and I really did enjoy this face wash. It is nice. It leaves your skin feeling moisturized without feeling oily and it is really great for the winter. I moved from this one to the CeraVe Cleansing Moisturize Cleansing Wash. I'm currently halfway through that one right now. I am liking that one just a little bit better than this one. They do the same thing, get the job done, but I like the way that my skin feels a little bit after the CeraVe one better just because this one left me feeling just a little tight, just a little bit, whereas the CeraVe one I feel just really moisturized after I use it. So I would rebuy this one if I couldn't for some reason get the CeraVe one, but both of them are good products. And you can get them both at CVS like with coupons. Next product I have here is a toner from Thayer's. It is the Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. I liked this one. It got the job done. I wouldn't necessarily repurchase it just because I've tried another toner from Thayer's that I liked better. They have a medicated one that is um, like aloe vera and it comes with tea tree oil. And that one, when I used it, I could actually feel a difference on my skin and like visual as well with, with breakouts and with blackheads. Whereas with this one, it just kind of did like the bare minimum of what a toner should do. But it smelled nice because it smelled just like rose petal. I would really recommend the medicated one if you're dealing with acne or if you're dealing with texture or anything. If you kind of have great skin already, I think this is a nice gentle toner that won't really, that won't really be too harsh on your skin. Alright, so after toner, we jump into serum. So I have an empty from The Ordinary, and this is the Buffet Serum. Now I will say I did enjoy this serum. It really sinks into the skin fast. It really moisturizes. It, I think it's amazing for the price that you're getting. I did go through this fairly fast. I was using it morning and night. Like my only complaint was that I went through this really fast, but really for the price, I think this is only like, it's less than $10. I would recommend it. The only thing is that I would recommend you buy maybe more than one bottle at a time because I did go through this fairly fast. Another serum that I have an empty of is the miniature of the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oil. This is expensive as <laughs> but I actually saw immediate changes to my skin overnight from using this formula. You would only use this at night. You put on just a thin layer all over your face before you go in with your moisturizer, but I saw a huge difference in my breakouts, my hormonal breakouts with the scarring that I've had. My skin has just overall gotten better since using this. So I actually went through two of these little ones before I decided to take the plunge and actually buy another mini. I haven't bought the full size yet because it is expensive, but I bought a mini in a set that came with a couple other products. So I'm going through that one right now, but after I use that one up, I actually will go ahead and buy the full size because this is the only product that I've found where I have actually seen dramatic changes and I can attribute it to the actual product. Like when I tried out this product for the first time, I didn't change anything else in my skincare routine. I just added in this night oil and I saw drastic differences. And my skin right now is actually the best that it's been in the past year, hands down. And it's mostly due to this little oil right here. Next, I have a couple of primers. One is a little mini empty of the Prep and Prime Fix Plus from MAC. I love this, hands down, it's amazing. This is the rose one. If you can't tell, I love the scent of rose. I love it so much. I got roses on my head right now. I love the Fix Plus formula. It 
it's not a necessary splurge because there is a dupe at the drugstore that works just as fine. I just enjoy, you know, I enjoy having MAC around. And I liked the little mini kit they came out with for holiday last year with the different scents, so I did pick that up. I went through the Rose one last because I was trying to save it because I love Rose so much. I would recommend getting Fix Plus if it is within your budget. If not, the Milani spray that they have, it it's literally the same thing. Like, it works just as well. The next primer I have a little empty of is a little 100 point perk I got from Sephora of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Honestly, it was just okay. Like, it didn't change my life, it didn't change my makeup, it just was a primer. And for the price that this is, I don't think it's worth it. I wouldn't really recommend it. You can find better things at the drugstore. Alright, the next primer I have was also just an okay. It was from Wish. It is the Botanical Primer. I believe I got this in a birch box before I cancelled it. And again, this one's just okay. It was moisturizing and it felt nice. Would I buy this like as an actual product with my own money? No. Alright, time to move into the actual makeup products. I have two mascaras, a liner, and a concealer. So the concealer that I have is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. I finally went through this. It did take me about a year to use up the whole thing, but it got to the point where even when I pulled out the stopper, I couldn't really scrape any more out of it, so I'm calling it quits at this point. Before the Tarte Shape Tape drama went down, I actually went and bought a backup of this. That's the last product that I will ever be buying from Tarte. I do have a couple of palettes from Tarte. I was toying with the idea of doing a Tarte pan that palette, not pan that palette, but like a Tarte project pan project, just like Liv Loves Her Makeup did. I thought that was an amazing idea. So I might go ahead and do that one maybe starting in the summer after I work a little bit more on my pan that palette. If you guys would be interested in seeing that, please let me know. I think it's a great idea, but if you would want to see like updates or you know, anything along those lines, let me know down below. So obviously I wouldn't rebuy this. I really want to try the Makeup Revolution concealer. I'm going to try to hit Ulta this weekend and see if I can find a display that actually has them. Because I'm not a huge fan of buying concealers for the first time online because colors are just so hard to match. The liner that I have right here is the Ico London Liquid Liner in Black. I got this in a birch box as well. It's, it's just, it technically isn't an empty because it's fine but it's an eyeliner that I used so I wouldn't declutter this or give it to anybody else so I'm just calling it an empty. So the felt tip pen on this is way too thick to do anything precise anywhere around your eyes. It doesn't do a wing that well so overall I don't understand why and they call this the skinny liner like it's called the skinny liner that's not skinny this thing is huge i have no use for it and if i can't use it for a wing i can't use it to line my eyes without it looking like crazy big then i i mean i have no use for it and since i did use it on my eyes i don't want to give this to anybody else because gross <laughs> all right my last two products i did get the tart lights camera lashes i got this as a sephora perk a long time ago I tried it once, I didn't like the formula at all, so again, since it's an eye product, I'm calling this an empty technically one, it's not, wouldn't recommend this at all. And the last one, this is probably going to be a little bit controversial, but I have the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Now I did try this out quite a few times, and I didn't really like it, like it it felt like clumpy and dry and I saw it flaking off in the middle of the day for me and smudging like I've never seen so much smudging or like clumping and not in a good way from a mascara before and I did buy this about a month before I did end up opening it and using it because I had a mascara that I was going through beforehand I don't know if these just don't last that long and maybe it's better if you buy it and then immediately open it but you know, I just wasn't impressed. I didn't like the formula. It just didn't really work for me. Alright, so that's everything for my very first empties video. I forgot to mention in the intro, if you are interested in this look, I did create it using the new Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. So that is coming up, or it is already out, in my review of that palette. I'll go ahead and throw it up in the eye. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, so I know that I'll have to keep squirreling away all my bottles for the future. I actually enjoyed this. I like giving reviews of products that I've completely used up, because I feel like... 
yes, I definitely know everything about this product and I feel confident in giving my review to you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so you can catch every one of my videos as they come out and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!